Guys, I have the creepiest neighbor ever. Be sure not to wake up. Hello, neighbor. What? That's his name? Hello, neighbor. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Looks like our LOLs are playing Don't Wake Hello Neighbor. So let's give this Hello Neighbor a name. FGTV calls him Mart, so we're gonna call him Mart. Let's try not to wake up Mart. They've got to get to the refrigerator of surprises in Mart's basement. Our players are Punk Boy. Yeah, I told you we love this game. That's why I'm in every single one of them. Unicorn Boy. I really hope I win this game. Last time Punk Boy won. Dawn? Yeah, well, let's hope we don't wake up Mark because he's really scary. And Dusk. Hello, Mabel is the creepiest guy ever. The first player who gets to Mark's basement and the refrigerator of surprises will be the winner, of course. So how about we start the Don't Wake Hello Neighbor game? First turn is Punk Boy's turn. Well, I'm really nervous. I'm so scared of Mark because if he knows we're in his house and we're trying to get to the basement, we'll be in big trouble. Yeah, as you know, his basement has secrets. He hides a lot of stuff in there. So don't wake Hello Neighbor. Isn't his name Mark? Yeah, it's Mark and Hello Neighbor. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Did you say sense? I have my allowance money if you need some sense. Okay then. Let's spin that wheel for Punk Boy. And he lands on the red. Uh-oh, but looks like someone's wearing noisy rollerblades. It wasn't me, I promise. Looks like poor Punk Boy's gonna have to ring Mart's alarm clock three times. <sighs> Better stay out of my basement. <clears throat> oh, oh, someone's in my basement? Oh, just a drink. <clears throat> Let's see if Punk Boy makes it. One, two, and three. Whoa, I made it. I'm in the game. It's now Unicorn Boy's turn. Oh, I can definitely skip a turn. Mark is really creepy. Let's spin that wheel for Unicorn Boy. And he lands on yellow. But that's not a good thing because he landed on the crying noisy baby. Oh, uh, little baby, don't say a word. Uh, Unicorn Boy's gonna buy you a mocking boy. It's not working. Plus, Unicorn Boy's gotta ring Mart's alarm clock four times. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Made it by a hail. Oh, wow. I'm so happy we didn't wake up Mart. He's really scary. Whoa, and looks like he got a prize. What is this? It's a little Green Men Series 1. Inside, we get a soldier, a dog tag, one chain, and a new recruit poster. Ooh, it says, we want you. So let's see which little green man we've got. Here's one blind bag. And I feel a whole bunch of stuff in this blind bag. Okay, so here is our little green man. What is he doing? <laughs> that is the funniest pose ever. And it says 1036 on the side of his helmet. Let's see what's in here. Must be our dog tag. Ooh, nice. So you can actually wear this if you want. That's pretty cool. It says Private Recoil, and he's one of our sharpshooters. There's the back, it says Awesome Little Green Men. Plus here is the collector's guide with all of the little green men we can collect. So here is Private Recoil, and he is from the sharpshooters, plus the green dot means he's a common. Whoa, that's so awesome. Next up, it's Dawn's turn. Okay, I'm really scared because he's my neighbor and all, and if he finds me, then I don't know where to hide because my house is right in front of his. Here we go, let's spin that wheel for Dawn. She lands on green. Where does that take her? Oh, to the noisy TV. And that means she has to ring Mart's alarm clock six times. No, <laughs> I'm shaking in my roller skates. Okay, wish me luck. Yep, here's how I want you guys to get in on the fun. How about you vote which team you're on? Are you on Don's team, Dusk's team, Punk Boy, or Unicorn Boy's team? Yeah, uh, I wonder who's going to win the game. Maybe you guys can guess. 
really hope it's me. I love the refrigerator of surprises, but, but mostly, I don't want to wake up Mark. Here we go. Let's wish her some luck. One, two, three, four, five. And six! Wow, she made it! Yay! Oh, this is so awesome! I made it! Wow, I'm really, really lucky! Whoa! What's that? Looks like you got a prize! Yay! I love prizes! So let's see what Dawn's got. Looks like she's got a Warner Brothers mystery mini. And here are the ones we can collect. Let's see if we can find Sylvester the Cat or Tweety, because these are exclusives. Oh, we can also see if we can find Speedy Gonzalez. Let's get on in. Oh, and there's Pluto. Hopefully, hopefully we find one of the exclusives. I don't feel one of the exclusives though. This one feels tall and long. Oh, we got a blue dog. I really don't know his name, so I'm gonna leave it to you guys to name him in the comment section. It's now Dusk's turn. Oh boy, here we go. Let's spin the wheel for Dusk. She lands on Blue, which takes her to the baseball that's broken the window. But, 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 why me? And she has to ring Mart's alarm clock two times. Okay, here I go. Hopefully, hopefully I don't wake him up. Here she goes. Wish her luck. One and a two. I made it. Yay, yay. Okay, okay. Still in the game. And I'm going to take the lead soon. I just know it. All right, we're on round number two. And it's Punk Boy's turn again. He lands on yellow. Where does that take him? Since Unicorn Boy is on that yellow spot, Punk Boy moves all the way up to the next one, and that is the Noisy Noisy Tricycle. Plus, he's got to ring Mark's alarm clock four times. Yay! And no, I like the fact that I'm in the lead, but I don't like that uh, I have to press Mark's alarm clock four times. Let's see if he makes it. One, two, three, and four. Ah! Ah! I woke up Mark! What do I do? What do I do? One! That's what I'm supposed to do! One! Who's in my basement? I hear people. Poor punk boy. He was in the lead, but now he's back to the start. That is not righteous. Nice. This means I have a chance to win the game. Punk boy always wins. It's now Unicorn Boy's turn. And he lands on blue, which takes him to that barking dog. And he's got to press Mark's alarm clock four times. Great. Just great. I mean, I'm in the lead, but four times. What if I go back to the start like Punk Boy? Hey, I chose to go to the start. I didn't lose the game. That was somebody else that woke up more. Here goes Unicorn Boy. One, two, three, and four. Yes. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. And we're back at Dawn's turn. Ooh, she lands on red, which takes her to a solid spot, and that means she doesn't have to press Mart's alarm clock. Yes, that's a plus. I'll take it. We're now at Dusk's turn. Let's spin that wheel for her. Ooh, she lands on the purple star. That means she goes right in front of the leader, which is Unicorn Boy. Now, why? Why the purple star? How about we remove the purple star from the spinning wheel? Yay, I'm in the lead. But she's not home free. She landed on the spot with the noisy tricycle. Whoa, no, no, hush, tricycle. Who's riding the tricycle? And she's got to ring Mart's alarm clock four times. Oh, how come you didn't have a solid spot in front of you? Here we go. Will she wake up Mart? Let's find out. One, two, whoa. No, why did he wake up? Oh, that's right, I got a one. Who keeps waking me up? Somebody trying to get in my basement. I'll catch ya. I will. Nobody's trying to get in your basement. Go back to sleep, Mart. Ooh, Mart is creepy. And poor Dusk's gotta go to the start right alongside Punk Boy. Hey, Punk Boy. Hey, Dusk. I saw where you lost. Uh, who said I lost? That was Dawn that did it. Hey, did not. They really have got to stop waking up Mart because he's super smart and clever and he catches on real fast. So let's spin the wheel for Punk Boy again. 
Maybe he can get in the game. And he lands on red, which takes him back to those noisy rollerblades. Plus, he's got to ring Mart's clock three times. I really hope I make it. One. Woo. What? Again? This is just crazy. Ah, pesky squirrels. Stop making noise. But if I know it's my neighbor, there's going to be trouble. And poor Punk Boy's really got bad luck. He has to go back to the start. Not fail. And we're now back to Unicorn Boy's turn. He lands on green. That takes him to the broken flower vase. And he's got to ring Mart's alarm clock five times. Five is way too many. Five is way too many. Okay, I'll give it a try. One, two, three, four, and five. Phew, Mart wakes up really easily. I thought I was a grano. Oh, oh no, get that off his belly before he wakes up. Looks like you've got a prize. Yay. Here we go. What did Unicorn Boy get? He's got a Squish Delish from the Wacky Collection. Let's see which Wacky Squishy we've got in this bag. Here it is. Oh, looks like some type of jet. Is it jet lag? Because he's got crazy looking eyes. Whoop, don't fly away just yet. We're going to give you the Squish Test. Oh, he's super squishy. He's got a nice squish to him, but he's not all that slow rise. And let's try pressing him this way. Whoa, he pops right back to his normal shape. Let's give him a smell. Ooh, it smells good. It's got a nice fruity scent. Can I get on this jet and weave? Nope, you gotta finish the game. Uh-oh, well, at least I can pitch it wide. Whee! It's now Dawn's turn again. And she lands on blue, which takes her to the noisy dog. And she's got to ring Mart's alarm clock four times. Oh, I'm so nervous. I hope I don't wake my hello navel up. We hope so too. Let's wish her some good luck. One, two, three, and four. Made it, yes. It's now Dusk's chance to get back in the game. Yes, I really hope I get in. Don't want to wake up Mart anymore. Let's spin that wheel for her. She lands on yellow, which takes her to the noisy baby. Oh, go to sleep. Go to sleep, little baby. Why are you so noisy? Stop crying. She's got to ring Mart's alarm clock four times. Let's see if she makes it. One, two, three, and four. She made it. She's in the game. Yes, I'm a wucky, wucky little ducky. Oh, and she's got a prize. Let's get that off Mart's belly before he wakes up. This looks heavy. It's a BFF, just like Dawn and Dusk. It says BFFs love you. And it's BFFs series four. Here are the ones we can collect. Here is the other side. Let's see if we can get Mo and Lolly or if we can get Sketch and Pearl. These BFFs are a perfect match for Dawn and Dusk because they're opposites just like them. Here we go. Let's see what's hiding on the inside. We've got a set of drums. And I'm guessing the BFF is some drumsticks. Yep, we've got drumsticks. And these are really cool because they've got interlocking action. They go together just like peanut butter and jelly. So here's the collector's guide. We've got Peart and Wood Brothers. Is it Peart or Peart? Is it my turn yet? I really want to get in the game again. Poor Punk Boy. Now's his chance to see if he can get in the game. Let's spin the wheel for him. He lands on red again, which takes him to those pesky rollerblades. Great. He's got to ring Mart's alarm clock three times. Hopefully he makes it. One, two, ah! It's Unicorn Boy's turn. 
and he lands on the purple star. But since he's already the leader, we're gonna have to spin again. He lands on green. Where does that take him? To a solid spot. Nice. I'm the king of the world. Unicorns woo, yes. The solid spot grants him total immunity from ringing Mart's alarm. Oh sure, Unicorn Boy gets all the good spaces and he doesn't wake up Mart. Let's move on to Dawn's turn. She lands on green. That takes her right to the broken flower vase. And she's got to ring Mart's alarm clock five times. This is not good. That's five too many. Here she goes. One, two, three, four, and five. Yay! Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy. Happy, happy, joy. So let's see where everyone is at. Unicorn Boy is in the lead. Dawn is second in the lead. Dusk is following right behind, but she's still in the beginning. And poor Punk Boy's really got to get in the game and catch up. Tell me about it. Okay, it's my time. Time for me to catch up. All right, let's spin for Dusk. She lands on Blue. That's going to take her to that noisy, noisy, barking dog. Plus, she has to ring Mart's alarm clock four times. Oh, hush already, little doggy. Can somebody give him a doggy biscuit? Kibbles and bits? Some bacon strips or something? It's bacon! It's bacon! Oh, goodness. I guess I have to press the alarm clock eventually, hmm? Poor Dusk is really trying to avoid pressing Mart's alarm clock. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. She made it. Yay, I'm finally catching up. It's now Punk Boy's turn. Hopefully, hopefully, I land on the purple star. I'll jump right in front of Unicorn Boy. Uh, hopefully not. All right, it's a real possibility. Let's see if Punk Boy lands on the purple star. <gasps> he landed on the purple star. What? No! My life is totally over. Righteous, righteous, righteous. Oh, stop being a drama queen. I'm in the game and I'm in the weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's those drums? Where's those drums? Yeah! I'm in the weed! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, okay. Told you we were it in. Sorry, dude. I'm just really excited. Ooh, and he's got a prize. A much-deserved prize. Looks like we got a Roblox blind box. Let's see which Roblox figure he gets. Ooh, this time we get a nice sparkly box. Who's on the inside? Is it a special character? Whoa, that is really crazy looking. We've got a cat in a suit. Here is an exclusive virtual item code. And here is our suited kitty cat. We put him together like Legos. Oh, and our kitty cat's got a briefcase. That is so cool. Oh, and his briefcase opens. It's fully functional. Nice. Here goes our kitty cat with his briefcase. He looks really important and serious. So who was our Roblox character? We've got a collector's guide here. And we've got Business Cat. Whoa, that was a crazy victory for Punk Boy. It's now Unicorn Boy. Let's see if he can take the lead. And he lands on Yellow, which takes him right to the next solid spot. Yes, total immunity from Mart's alarm clock. We're now at Dawn's turn. She lands on red, which takes her to the noisy cuckoo clock right in front of her. And she's got to press Mart's alarm clock three times. Okay, don't wake up, Mart. Here she goes. One. Woo! No! That's my neighbor! Oh, I have to run fast! I smell children here. Definitely do. I didn't do it. Poor, poor Don's got to go right back to the start. Let's spin for dusk. She lands on red. Oh, and she goes back to that noisy cuckoo clock spot that Dawn lost. Oh, it's okay. I'll win for my best friend. Here she goes. One, two, and three. Made it. And we're back at Punk Boy's turn. Let's spin that wheel for him. He lands on blue. And it takes him to the noisy keyboard. Whoa. This is the only time I don't want music to play. Ooh, plus he's got to press Mart's alarm clock six times. He's come way too far to go back. Hopefully he makes it. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Oh, he made it. He's super lucky. Yeah, I think that deserves a prize. Whoa. Oh, that's my prize. Yep, looks like Punk Boy's got a lost kitty. It says, who's hiding inside? Let's go ahead and open it on up. We have a collector's guide. Ooh. Plus, we've got a carton full of pink milk. Is that strawberry milk? Check that out. There's a huge splat in the middle. And this is kind of like Play-Doh. Let's go ahead and dig in our pink strawberry milk to see if we can find our kitty. There it is. It's in a blind bag. What else do we have in here? Oh, looks like we have a saxophone. Ooh. And what else? We're supposed to have one more. Looks like we have a mouse, a computer mouse. Click, click, click. What else is in here? Let's get all of our strawberry milk Play-Doh out of the way. We've got a sticker. And this kind of gives us an idea of which little kitty we've got. It says, we needs more milk. So here is our strawberry milk Play-Doh that was in the carton. So cool, it has no stretch. It's pretty much exactly like Play-Doh. And let's see our little kitty. Here he is, it's the exact little kitty on the sticker. Here is our collector's guide. From the Working It Club, we've got Professor Perkins. We're back at Unicorn Boy's turn. And he lands on green. Whoopsies, and looks like he's knocked over the bowl of fruit. Oh, I didn't mean to. And he's gotta ring Mart's alarm clock four times. Let's see if he stays in the lead. Oh, hopefully I do. One, two, three, and four. Yes, I'm still in the lead, woohoo. We're now on Dawn's turn. Let's see if she gets back in the game. She lands on yellow, which takes her to the crying baby. Oh boy, crying little baby, stop crying. She's gotta ring Mart's alarm clock four times. One, two, three, and four. Yay, I'm finally in the game. It's really anybody's game at this point. If they land on the purple star, they take the lead. So we're at Dusk's turn. She lands on yellow, and that takes her to the noisy squawking parrot. Plus she's gotta ring Mart's alarm clock six times. A whopping six times? Oh no. Here she goes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. She made it. Yes, phew, my forehead is sweating. It's now round number seven and we're back at Punk Boy's turn. And he lands on red. That takes him to the screeching cat. Plus, he's got to press Mart's alarm clock five times. Hopefully, I don't go back to the start. Here he goes. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, still in the game. Watch this. Punk Boy's now in the lead. He could very well win this game, too. But not if Unicorn Boy takes the lead again. He lands on green, whoa! That takes him all the way to the last spot, but that's where the clanging pots just fell on the floor. Who did it? I didn't. He has to press Mart's alarm clock four times. Can he make it? One, two, three, and four. He made it! Woohoo! He's so, so close to the refrigerator of surprises in Mart's basement. <laughs> Nobody get in my basement. Whoa, Mart was about to wake up. Oh, now is the perfect time for the purple star. Yep, if Dawn gets the purple star, she jumps right in front of Unicorn Boy to the win. Ooh, she lands on blue. That takes her to the barking dog. Plus, she's got to press Mart's alarm clock four times. Oh boy, here I go. One, two, three, and four. Phew, okay. Still in the game, still going strong. We're now at Dusk's turn. <gasps> she lands on the purple star, what? What, 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 no! Yay, finally I win something for the first time in my life. Yep, 
The spot right in front of the leader is the finish. And Dusk is the winner. Yay, yay, yay. Woohoo. It's time to get into the refrigerator of surprises. But we've got to work real quick because we're in Mark's basement. And you guys know, in the Hello Neighbor game, Mark does not want you in his basement. So let's open up his fridge and see what he's got. Oh, we've definitely got some stuff. Let's take this out first. What is it? Hey, oh, Mark's got some poopies in his fridge. How come I'm not too surprised? Here we go. Let's see which poopies we've got. So this is a huge, giant roll of toilet paper. And it opens up just like that. We've got toilet paper plus our little poopies. What do we have? Looks like we've got a party poopy. Ew, is this a party pooper? And who else do we have? Oh, we've got this cute looking little poopy. So here we have pooling. And yep, we've got potty pooper. Not a party pooper, but a potty pooper. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, gross, Mart. He's got a grocery gang toilet in his fridge. It's the grocery gang bug strike. So let's get this toilet open and see which groceries we've got. We've got three blind bags, a collector's guide. So here's our first grocery. Whoa, it looks like a stapler and his mouth actually closes and opens too. And our next one. Oh, cool, we've got a see-through one and it looks like a bug. Really, really cool. Plus, we don't want to forget this third blind bag, which is their weapons, because it's the bug strike, so each one comes with their own weapon. So here we have Sergeant Stuck Stapler. No wonder he's so angry. Look at his mustache. And here is his weapon. It looks like it might be another stapler. And from the SWAT team, we've got Private Krusty Beetle. These are the wall crawler groceries. Here is his weapon. So he's supposed to stick to the wall. How about we have him stick to the sky? Whoa, he's stuck for a little bit, but he fell off. And what else does Mart have? Looks like he's got a cabbage. That seems pretty normal for a fridge. But it's a little Sprouts Cabbage Patch Kid. Let's get in here and see which little sprout we've got. So here's our cabbage container. Let's open it up. And here's our collector's guide, our little cabbage patch. Let's get her out. Whoop. And who do we have? It's Emma Julia. She looks so cute with her pigtails. I think we've got one last surprise in the fridge. And then we can close it on up. Ooh, looks like we've got a Troll Series 7 blind bag. Let's push our troll down so we don't have any troll hair accidents. Oh, looks like I cut his hair. Oh, no. Oh, no. I cut her hair. Oh, she's got a nice blunt cut on the end of her hair, even though I pushed her down on the back. Sorry, little troll. All right, saving the best for last. We've got LOL Surprise Series 3 Wave 2 Balls. Let's see who's on the inside. Our secret message will reveal it all. Ooh, beauty sleep. We've got someone from the sleepover club. This means we can either get baby doll, snuggle babe, or sleepy bones. Which one do you think we'll get in this ball? Okay. We'll soon find out. Here is our little kitty cat finger tattoo. Time to confetti pop. One, two. Oh, we've got to be careful not to wake up Mart. So let's try to really quietly confetti pop. And a confetti pop. Oh, that was a little too loud. Oh, but he's still asleep, so that's good. All right, let's get into the first blind bag. Oh, what's wrong with her shoe? She's got a bitten shoe. Did the dog get to her shoe? Bad doggy. Let's do one more bag, and then we'll reveal her. Whoop, here's her water bottle. I know you guys already know her. It's Baby Doll. And here she is all dressed up, looking ready to take a nap. Let's dunk her in the icy cold water. What was her water surprise? Oh, and she's a tinkler. Looks like she didn't go potty before bedtime. Oh, no. 
the stick with it out. All right, our next and final surprise is another LOL surprise ball from Series 3 Wave 2. And here is our secret message. It's rocket science. That means we're going to get someone from the STEM club. So it could either be Glamstronaut, VR Cutie, or PhD BB. Which one do you think we're going to get? If you get the right one, say you got it. All right, we've got our confetti popper and let's confetti pop. Oh, and here was our finger tattoo. It's a game controller. Let's get into our first accessory bag. Right there is the big reveal. We've definitely got PhD BB. So here's PhD BB all dressed up and ready to do some science experiments. Let's dunk her in the water and see what her water surprise is. And she's a tinkler. What? Oh, well, it's the end of our show. I hope you guys enjoyed the Don't Wake Hello Neighbor game. If you did, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. And as always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now.